rectangle. But then you just do the circle, pi times radius square, times length times height. How wide is it? Wait a minute. That's length times height. This is pi times radius square. I had to go back and look at my formula, but it ain't nothing but num multiplying numbers. I know you need pi because you're dealing, dealing with a circle. Uh, pi times radius square, two times pi times radius square times height. Two times pi. Anyway, that stuff's so easy. It sounds big. That's just because you just don't. In other words, break it down. So the people, I broke it down. You know, but a rectangle. Fold it, curve it up. And now you got a cylinder. And then the other little fancy stuff to make it spread and how much can go in there. It's nothing to that. But that's how God used to take the word and teach it just like you did in math. Decompose it, break it down, look up these words, and then show people what I contain. And that's all I'm doing. I'm not going, did he say? You didn't get time for that. That's entertainment. Most of your gospel sing, songwriters don't read the word. Because they, they sing songs that that uh, play with your emotions. But what if you had to sing a song like this that said, Let death seize upon them. Let death seize upon them. And let them go down quick to hell. That's a song. But what do we do? We pull out, Lord gonna bless you every time if you call him. If you call him. And we, 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 we grew up on that. Like a kid. And God said, I don't play that. My songs tell the truth. He said, uh, what was that? Even in the morning and noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. He has delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. I had 600 people running around with me. God shall hear and afflict them. I ain't heard nobody sing no song like that. Even he that abideth of old, the same God that, that had to tell Pharaoh to back off these people now. Because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. He has put forth his hands against, oh, we like Psalm 91. We get some of them. So we pick and choose. God said, I tell you, pick and choose. How are you going to get to 91 and then you skip 1, 2, 3, all the way to 90? Well, you like the Lord is my shepherd. We cannot pick and choose God. He said, you're going to create a God. You're going to create an image that's not going to be me. And he said, I ain't lying. Some of y'all going to be saying, Lord, I did this in your name. He said, no, you didn't because my name was my word. And you don't know my word. <clears throat> that's why they killed Jesus. Jesus said, if you knew the word, you wouldn't be killing me. He ain't recognize him because he ain't come in with a <clears throat> big seat suit and a big sword in his hand. He said, I came and I am what the word says I am. I'm a living copy of the written word that was spoken on Mount Sinai to Moses. And he said, right in the book of Malachi, right before I was born. And he said, y'all, don't you forget what I told Moses in the book of Malachi, chapter four. What do I hear preachers say? You don't need that. That's old tells me. You better screwed up as I don't know what. I don't, ain't no way. He, Lord deliver us. He said, I said, what'd you say? Seize them and cause that wicked teaching to go straight to hell. Let death seize upon them and let them go down quick into hell. Stop taking and picking like we smart enough to know we're going to program God right here. And we're going to program God right here. Just tell God, say, let me be God leave me alone. He said, uh, he had to deliver my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. And people that came against me came against the word. People been fighting Jerusalem since the beginning, ever since Solomon built that place, or, or, or no, since the beginning, even when Esau, Jacob, and he, they ain't got it yet. Their word is still alive. He put this book out of, out, of, out of life. Ain't nobody found no fault with this book yet. Number one, because they don't read it. <laughs> they find fault if they don't read it, or if they have read it. God, and then sometimes you read it with an attitude. You don't get nothing out of God's word. He said, you don't make me tell you nothing. You look, you read this book for the wrong reason. If you're trying to get an understanding so you can make correction over your body and over your mouth and how you talk and how you walk, then I'll talk to you. Draw nigh to me. I'm coming. But if you're trying to get the information, he said, you'll be reading it like a blind man. God shall hear and afflict them, even him that abideth of old God, because you have no changes. Therefore, they fear not God. He said, if you don't see changes, 
you don't fear God. He has, he has put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. He has put forth his hands. God's hand is against those such as be at peace. You in the word of God, he said, I put my hand against those that come against you. He has, uh, he had broken his covenant. That guy that God said, I put it in to broke his covenant, broke the covenant. I'm against you. Give people the word of God. I go to Chick-fil-A, every Chick-fil-A serving the same thing. If I go to the Baptist church, they ought to be teaching the word. I ain't talking about coming out the pastor's head now. That ain't, that, that's where the screw up part come at. He gonna hide something. He gonna be an AK. I'm talking about give us the word only and let the word be the nutrients and the vitamins that we eat. I'm going to feed the babies and the old people, feed everybody in between. He said, the words of his mouth were smooth. My friend, he said, this guy don't hang out with me. His words were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Don't nobody know that but God. Somebody grinning in your face. God know that. David saw what was uh, this guy was doing once he started doing it. I don't know if it was a hit the fail. Ahithophel is the guy that counseled David. Now, it might have been him. And he talked with David. And the, and the word said, this guy was wise. Ahithophel. But when Absalom, David's son, wanted to kill David, Ahithophel became Absalom's counselor. Told him, Ahithophel did then. He said, for instance, he said, take this green can and wait till David go to sleep. He didn't say these words, but I'm just giving you what he said. He said, you spray this one can. You ain't got to spray it on nobody but David, and he's going to die. And then you're going to get all the people to come back and follow you. Then God had a guy that was a, pretty much what I call a, somebody crazy talking. And and Absalom had the, the right key. This guy, Ahithophel said, take my advice. But God set this guy right up here. And so and he talked to Absalom and Absalom took this guy's advice. This guy right here said something that was so crazy. But Absalom, God confused the language. He confused the, 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 the uh, plan through this guy. This guy was like, oh, no, Absalom, it ain't going to work like he said. It ain't going to work like this. You got to do it like this. Absalom took the advice of this guy. A hit the fail. The word said, when he heard this guy give Absalom advice, a hit the fail went home, and his name, a hit the fail, because he finna fall, went home. The word said he got his business on. The Bible said this guy was wise. This guy gave him the perfect plan to kill David. And God knew it, but the guy, Absalom, listened to him. This guy went home, the word said, got his business in order, and then hung himself. Saying, you can't live with these crazy people. <laughs> God has said, the devil got wicked devices. He said, but he ain't God. Never will be. Be using these people that think they know what they're talking about. He said, God said, I don't care what you're talking about. And it would have worked. But God said, I confused it. I got tired of play with you. I got a man. I'm trying to get my son here. The word of his mouth was smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn like swords. People can say what they want to say to you and pull all, make you pull off all your clothes. Make you empty your bank account. He said, but it ain't mean you no good. Just saying, they ain't got no. I, I'm telling you, if you if people would tell the truth and testify against what I'm telling you, you won't think I'm the only one that know that. I know it because I know it happened, but the other people say and stuff. This stuff, I said, you willing to testify that? You wouldn't tell the truth, cause if the truth, we if if, if we be like they told on Bill Cosby, I pray that I'd be glad when they tell on church. But if they repented now and they came public and said. I did wrong. And don't ask no about the details. You ain't got to know all the man said I did wrong. Leave stuff alone because you're going to make them. Hey, I'm online. I'll call you back. You need me? My car broke down, so I ain't going to be able to take you to your car. Okay. I ain't got to go to Friday anyway. 
I'll talk to you. I'll call you back. All right. He said he put forth his hands such as be at peace with God. said, I got you. And then the 22nd verse says, cast your, he, David said, y'all, hey, Brenda, cast your burden upon the Lord. He don't care all that crazy stuff. I, I'm going through this and I'm writing a song and, and I hope y'all hear, I hope you pay attention to the words that I'm saying. Cast the hard things upon the Lord. Don't try to deal with that. And he shall sustain thee. He's going to give you protection. He should never suffer the righteous to be moved. He said, that's, that's how the world is keep going. I got somebody righteous that's always calling upon me. They try to stop the righteous, but they don't never be moved. And he said, don't be scared of death because death is like, then next thing you know, you God's a good. Hey, hey, Paul. Hey, hey Elijah. <laughs> Just saying. But you. Oh, God shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. God said, I'm going to do it. All I want, he said, all I need is somebody to give me permission to come into this earth and straighten these churches out. Father, I pray that you will open up the understanding of us, that we would pay attention to your word and stop spot checking your word and saying what we have put together. We glue this one to this scripture and we go to Revelation and then we go to John and then we go to Matthew and then we go to Romans and then we go to Genesis and then we go to Isaiah. We do all that crazy stuff and then we say this is the word of the Lord like you confused. He said, do you build your house like that? Build a window right here and a door right here and then I might put the floor and I might put the roof and all this food and stuff and then all of a sudden you got old crooked house. Crooked house. But thou, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But David said, but I would trust in the word. I would trust in you. Bottom line. That's the entire song. So if you go in there, if anybody go, and I perhaps did it myself, went in here and pulled a scripture out that I could talk about, make the people feel good. But the word said, no, you don't tamper with evidence. That's evidence. That's what David wrote. So we're supposed to read it as it was written. And don't take it out of context because you're going to build something that's going to look like you're crazy. And I am not going to be your God because I don't play that. So that's Psalms 55. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your understanding. We see here in summarizing this that David had problems with the people that he trusted the most. And all of a sudden they speaking all kind of evil against him and he's running, but he called on you, even though this might be the 15th time that he called, but he called again, got another problem. And he made another prayer and he prayed three times a day. And he asked you to get rid of these people that won't line up. He said, bring them to, he said, take them to hell, put them out of business so that your word could be magnified. And he found out that it was somebody close to him. And it didn't even matter. Whoever it is, bring their work, evil works to an end. And you say, you promised that you would surround us. And here's when you call them. You said, David said, cast your burden on the Lord. Because you're going to sustain me. And he said, I'm going to call on you. And Lord, here I am, understanding Psalms 55. Thank you for your word. And I know that you will keep up your word. I believe that we're going to take back the authority. Let the church be back in place because of your, your curriculum and your menu and your recipe so that we can get Corona off this earth and stop blaming it on the government till the church to change. And we can see this land healed. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, D'Angelo M. Jones Sr., how are you?